Well, you're lucky it's Saturday. All snuggled in with your coffee and your newspaper and... Well, you certainly deserve it after working hard all being in on all those conference calls. I don't know how you're... Don, you know, was always pro... Well, I guess in service we were on the phone a lot, but it seems like you have no downtime between the two contracts. You're just on the phone. Right. Hopefully, eventually, it'll cut over to you actually get to work for a few hours without uh, right. an audience. Well, some of this is skills transfer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so that, that's reason... Right. Some of the people you're on the phone with are really helpful, and you need them. And then the that's other right. people are project right. managers. And, well, like, nobody yeah. ever really wants to give status over and over again, but it's part of the job as a programmer. Yeah. Anyway, I was saying that you're really lucky because it's 37 and raining out there and I'm fixing to go out the door. I'm a little behind this morning. But I feel blessed that we don't have any ice here. We have right. zero ice here accumulation. And I know a lot of the country from Texas oh, all yeah. the way up into the Ohio Valley are suffering with um, ice and, you know, uh, snow even more north of the ice line. So. Yeah. Uh, we've had ice here. We've had that before, but it's oh, yeah, not, but it's, we, yeah. But yeah, when my oldest was uh, a baby, we had an ice storm that year and we were without power for a couple of days. Yeah. And that wasn't really great for a new mom. I, that was a little scary, but we had a fireplace. So um, I certainly remember ice is devastating. We've had it here enough, but we're not having it this time. So I won't complain too bad, although I am fixing to get wet and cold. I'll try not to fall out there this morning. Right. I'm feeding them up on the platform. When I cut across this morning, I won't go where the hole is. <laughs> I was also out here at 5 a.m. because Tux tried to rouse Stripe and Morris out of Good Morning Sweetheart out of their doghouse. So I had to come and break that up. Hi, sweetheart. Good morning. You don't have to get wet. You go wait. I saw Morris over here too. Although, you know, Morris basically runs out whenever I come near. I am not leaving food near overnight because I don't want the raccoons and possums to get close to their sleeping spot. But I will leave it during the day. It'll be fine. Yeah, that hole is right at the base of the holly tree. You know, when I stepped over, I just couldn't see it. It's also okay to walk here, at least this time of year, until the hydrangea starts to grow out and bloom again. I feel bad my kitties aren't getting more attention this morning, but it's just rained too much to stay out here. And the leaves are slippery too. <sighs> I do see Morris up there eating with Stripe, and I moved these guys in here where I could sit with them for a few minutes. You going back on the heating pad? That's a good girl. So Ruby hasn't received the software update this week, but Jules actually had two back to back. And I right. think it's just bug fixes, but what release is Jules currently at? It's at 2021.4.3. Uh, right. I think the prior one was either dot one or dot two. 2021.4.2. And okay. Uh, Ruby's at 2020.48.35.5. Okay. So it's been a while since she's gotten one. Yeah. Um, I have had Ruby reboot the center screen two, possibly three times on the current software release. Like I go to get in the car and the driver instrument cluster's good, but the middle screen is rebooting. And um, in Tesla Diva's Facebook group, a lot of divas are finding they're losing Bluetooth connection to their phone a lot worse with the current release that they're on. Uh -huh. I don't know what release that is or which car, but right. um, I seem to be having a little less connectivity with my phone. I have found out if I'm listening to my book mm -hmm. and I get in and my book doesn't automatically start playing, which personally I'm good with that, but my book's not up on the screen either. So, But I have wow. found if I press on the X the um, pause button, the music, you know, the, the, the volume pause button, sure. that it then connects to my phone and just starts playing my book, which oh. is great because that's hands-free. I didn't yeah. have to do anything. I used to would have to go over to Audible, open it up, start the book, but it's remembering oh. that that's the last, um, you know, vo uh, uh, what's, what's the right word? Um, 
thing that makes noise coming from my phone, the last uh, thing played in either music or audible or whatever, and it's automatically starting the last played thing up when I press the pause button on the X. Why? And I like that because, again, it's hands-free. But I do think there's a little something different about the way the Bluetooth is working, possibly, um, yeah. in the X with my um, input from the from the phone, my, my audible input from the phone. So... Um, anyway, I, we would be talking a little bit more about the updates if um, there was anything major had come. And this is not like everyone was hoping this was the Christmas release right, part two. Yeah, and right. I don't think that's the case. Yeah. And um, if you want to know Casey Green's channel, uh, a lot of what he does over there is um, he does an in-depth on every software release his ex gets. Right. And he has a certain, um, it's kind of like a test case scenario that he's built, right. he that he it. runs the car through, and he often pinpoints these little things in the releases yeah. that um, aren't documented and others may or may not notice. Right. Uh, because he has, you know, over time developed a really good test case. So if you're really interested about the yeah. ins and outs, you should go watch Casey. We watch Casey. Yeah. Um, I just don't. I have, you know, why I don't want to fill that niche because he's already doing that. I mean, yeah. and he's doing a really good job at it. And that seems a little tedious for me personally. So right. I don't, I have not. I mean, I may test autopilot on the curve down here by the environmental yeah. park every time I think they've sort of tinkered with autopilot. But I don't, right. you know, have a plan to do that right. all the time. Anyway, check out Casey for in-depth information on the software updates. He does a great job with those. That's right. Hey, little one. I moved her little uh, ball track out uh, more in the open, and she's really been, she just stopped playing with it, but she's really been playing with it, and um, she really likes that thing, so that's cool. Sometimes I drop the little greenies treats down in it, and then they all play to try to get them out, and um, that gives them a little bit of extra exercise and mental so challenge. So Don's got a new Google Opinion Rewards survey and it's asking him what it, he thinks about our current video. It's asked, this is the second time right. it's asked him if he thinks this video is worth his time, if yeah. it's a good video recommendation for him, uh, stuff like that. So you tell him it's the best video I ever. <laughs> Have you watched any part of this video on YouTube? Just say yes because we're going to watch it in five minutes. Well, that would be a lie. Well, then let's watch it and you can come back and answer the thing. Okay, that's fair. Let's do that. I'm going to hit back. Well, you recorded that part, so, you know, yeah, about I'm, the front part. Was, yeah, but it said on YouTube. Right, well, let's just go watch it. I agree. We don't, I certainly, I think five minutes is okay, but I totally see what you're saying. Let's just go stop and watch. Yeah, so we've watched the video now. Don can legally go in and take the survey about our video. They don't go away for 24 hours once they get put out there, so it should pop yeah. back up. It's saying, have you watched any part of this video on YouTube? And it's our video for the day that shows the Model Y Home Link installation, among yep. other things. Yep. And now I can select my answer, and I said, I have, and click Next. Oh, did you watch this video or was it someone else with access to your account, i.e. kids or spouses? I watched this video. It was your account as the one on the TV. It was me. Next. When you go back to YouTube, do you want us to recommend this video again? When you go back to YouTube, do you want us to recommend this video again? Sure, why not? Maybe if, uh, yes, I'm just going to say yes. I want them to know, ooh, I got 28 cents. Way cool. It may be because I put Model Y in the title, and I only do that when we have significant Model Y coverage. Right. And they know you own a Model Y. Yeah. If I had to guess, I, obviously they don't know that you helped produce that video or I'm that... starring in that video. What right, the, right. Uh, I, well, yesterday you actually had video you took in the video. And I actually had part Although, of Although, yes, I am the generally the executive director, that's producer right, person, uh, certainly the video editing person. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, Dodd hasn't touched Wii Video not once in never, three plus never, years. Never touched it. Yeah. He, not that he couldn't do that, but, you know, yeah, well, I don't we have, don't need two video editing you know, people in the house. We don't need both of us fussing at it. I don't fuss at it 
that much. Well, now that she's got her, uh, since she's got the the Apple, the MacBook, MacBook Pro thing. Yeah, it has. But she used to fuss all the time when that on Windows. It was well, that machine was an older machine. Yeah, the the Samsung old Sam, the i7 processor, but with the very large uh, wrong kind of hard drive. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Spinning hard drive. Are you going to shovel snow or are you going to work in the garage? Well, sir, let's <laughs> see. <laughs> it ain't snowing, so I guess I ain't going to shovel no snow. I ain't up there where Richard is having to <laughs> shovel all that. You know, down south we shovel other kind of stuff. Well, he's got on layers over there, including his thermal uh, Wranglers, although this is the bigger pair. Yeah, this he is wants to save the really good fitting pair for like a Tesla meetup yeah, outside in the right. winter or something. Some place where he's actually going to wear them. These can be the work yeah. pair. And I got my thermal shirt on. And your suspenders. And, and I got my suspenders. And his Carhartt. He's very proud of his Carhartt yeah. hat. He wears right. twice a winter whether he needs to yeah. or not. Well, what happens when you're out in the garage, and I'm going to put gloves on again. The garage at 55 degrees, it's sort of like being in a refrigerator. It's kind of like really dense cold in there. And after you stand out, out there for a half hour, 45 minutes, you're not, if you're exercising, it's one thing, but I'm going to be just standing there piddling with, uh, what am I doing? You're um, going to install the transponder in Jules. Gonna He's going to take the frunk back out. I'm going to take the frunk out. Rick showed me and gave me several tips on the, about the frunk and how to And we're going to Velcro it behind the grill. And That's right. And going to Velcro it behind the grill. That is correct. We had a solution with zip ties to put it on the outside of the grill. And that wasn't a bad solution yeah. if you don't feel comfortable taking the frunk out. But Don feels comfortable taking it out. So. And Rick confirmed that uh, several people have done that and that he knows of and so he says you know he couldn't do it but he said he's seen it done so we might would have done it yesterday but we hadn't exactly m m fixed things up in the turnpike account the nc quick pass until yeah. this morning with regard to switching the license plates and stuff so and plus it'll just you know we'll just do it again we'll just take it out again yeah we just do it. <laughs> practice makes perfect popping out that top cover yeah it seemed to pop out really easy like rick said the um the front ones, first of all, he said these two missing it is absolutely was the, you know, a Tesla factory thing. Because what two? I see one. This one here. And, and the, one at the other side. Yeah. Okay. But he said the thing that doesn't work well is these in the front. He said they absolutely will not snap in there no matter how hard you try, but the ones in the back will. Interesting. Yeah. And, um... The other thing he said is there's, uh, you got to be careful, there's one little, when you're pulling out the front, uh, it's, you have to be careful, but you need to be cognizant that this is a, one of those little clips, not a screw, uh, 10 millimeter uh, screw, so you've got to get you a spring hook or, or something that you can catch that and pop that clip out. Or that push pin. I, I, I don't know what you officially what you call them. Yeah, I guess it's a push pin. Jules is making a little hum right now yeah, since okay, we... so I got the push pin out. It's, you know, everybody's seen these. You know, you just, you just get something. A screwdriver will do it. And you pull it up. And then you can pull it out the rest of the way. And the key thing is don't lose it. <laughs> yeah, don't Although lose I have a, I have a lifetime supply. Supply of those two. That's right. I'm just going to put it there on top of my favorite things, my single serving size. If we have to buy them from Utz now and we have to buy four jugs at a time, although that's not really a problem for us. That's right. <laughs> when you try and not to eat potato chips, but you need a little crunch. Yeah, you need a little crunch. So that's one, two, Three, four. Yeah, and the other thing you have to do is uh, from the top. I assume with the drill not in there. Yeah. Well, he said just, you know, work it out to the corner and then pull up. See the, the pins in the bottom go, uh, the little pins stick out. Um, mortise and tendon type concept and goes into the slots, right? Yeah. 
and then these just snap into here so you just got to pull it out okay and then you need your little you got to do undo the clip also on this so you'll need your little tool because I'm going to take the funk all the way out if I you know if I had a smaller hand I could actually reach up in there like if I was going to take the responder out yeah you could probably grab it out but pushing it in is harder concept you can't see that pulling just Here, we'll just assume you get yeah, the clip right, off. So there we go. No, no. Yeah, well, you, I got the clip. Now. Okay. I was not worried. Oh, that's a tiny little thing. I think that's it. Maybe not. Okay. Well, I'm going to push that little pin back into the little hole before I lose it. Yeah, don't know. Don't know if that's supposed to come all the way out or what. But it is now loose. I guess at this point. There, hand me the drill. Hmm. Put it up. Oh, fine. I think. So that's it. Four screws and one clip or push pin. I'm going to put it on top. That's where he said put it. So I'm going to put it on top. He said you don't know, get some alcohol. In so basically some Velcro right up underneath oh, there. Oh yeah, you really yeah, got to get Maybe I'm going to try to turn the camera upside down yeah, and, and get to, a video and then I'll flip you'll see it. see the metal this aluminum bar yeah and then basically in the middle but it basically it's on the other side of this yeah it'll be right about here oh and that it can go through that yeah well that's just plastic and I, um yeah i i think that that's not a not a concern yeah that thing's not little no it's not well it's, it's meant to go on the license plate holder right yeah, so the it's holders. the width of the bolts for a tip standard license plate but it has arrows and it says up so it needs to be up. Right. I took a picture of this sticker. So I have that in, uh, of course, it's searchable and stuff on Google Photos. So, uh, you know, I'm basically going to put Velcro on here and I'm going to stick it. And I am going to think I'm going to wrap a twist tie because I have these great big long twist ties. I'm going to wrap twist tie, try to wrap the twist tie around so that if the Velcro lets go, this thing won't fall out of the car. It may not stay in position, but it won't fall out of the You're going to hook it to something that seems safe to hook it to just well, as a... Well, yeah, I'm going to wrap the... I'm going to wrap it around the... Um, I'm going to wrap it around the... Um, the bump. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, in fact, that's... I'm looking at this thing. I may have come up with a 10 foot idea. I cleaned it off with alcohol uh, and I have these little plastic feet and I put on there because it's round right and it, it's going to do it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cable tie through the screw holes around the aluminum bumper this and so if and when we ever need to take it out we'll just snip Cut the, the cable tie yeah Okay, and you, these just to keep it from walking. Oh, right. This and is, to level it up some. Right, well, yeah, it doesn't, you know, it, it, if you try to set it up this way. Yeah. But now with that, so it should sit. Cool. And so you're probably going to want to come, like, maybe go over there or go over here. So I'm going to show you out here where the aluminum is. You can see the aluminum bumper. Yes. And in front of the aluminum bumper, they've put a piece of foam. Uh, the foam is just a backer for the fascia on the front. Okay. So what I'm going to do, and I've done it on the other side, is I was able to slip this, t 
twist tie between the aluminum bumper and the foam. Okay. So it's, this is not around the foam. This is around the aluminum bumper. Okay. Okay. And I was able just, it wasn't difficult to do. I, I was actually, you know, there's enough. They did not appear, uh, which is good. I wouldn't want them to. They, um, well, I should say I did, I've done one so far and it was like really easy. So I'm expecting this to be just as easy. Uh, you can feel where the aluminum stops and the foam starts. And there's a little, you know, sixteenth of an inch. Yeah, it just goes right up through there. I got it. It's through. And so now, I've got, if you come over here, uh, of course, uh, I... I'll go to the my, other side. Right, right here. You probably just right here. Now you can see the, the two ends of the, of the uh, yep. cable ties. Yes, okay? yes, one in each hand. Mm -hmm. Now you can't see the tops because they're behind here. Right. But I'm going to attempt, and I hope they're long enough. I, I, I did a quick... Oh, you put drop. two in. Okay, I got gotcha. you. One on each side. Yes, yeah, right. Not just one long one. Gotcha. Not just one. Yeah, they're. Uh, I, well, especially since that transponder has a hole on both ends. Right. Yeah. So now I've stuck one cable tie through, and I'm going to put it on the cable tie. But I'm just going to put it just enough to it grips. At least this is my thinking. Right. You're not cinching it yet. Not cinching it yet. Now I'm grabbing the other cable tie, okay, and making sure I get my orientation right, because there is an up, and I guess you could say there's a front facing forward. So now I got that one just cinched, okay? So now it's got two cable ties on it. Famous last words, I'm putting it up on top of the button, of the bumper. I said I'm putting it up on top of the bumper. Yep, okay, so far so good. Well, there is a little something there. I don't know what that is. I didn't feel that long ago. So, it might just be a... Yeah, we're just not going to know until we make our first trip. Right, if it uses the responder or the tag. Now, yeah, hang up with me for a second here. I'm hanging. So what it is, is the, um, the trunk, that's what it is, okay. So the, I don't know if it's the trunk, it's something, because this is the actuator for the trunk, but there's something, it, you know it could be the radar, I think that's the radar, so the radar is right here, so I'm going to have to put that thing one side or the other, so I'm going to, you know. He says he slid it over now. Yeah, you can come over here and see it. Okay. So I think it's out of the way of the radar now. Yeah, I'm just hoping that this video is not distorted when I'm flipping it upside down. But since I started angled correctly. I'm like a half an inch. I gotta slide another half an inch. Now that I feel how that thing goes. Okay, now it is sitting on top, flush on top. In fact, if you go angle down through here, I think you can see it. Can you see it, sweet? Can you flip your screen up? No. No. Yeah, I can't get the screen where I can see it. This is one of those few times that a side screen would be. Right, right, right here. If you show my finger, maybe. Yeah, this is one of those few, uh, few times where it going the other way would be helpful. Yeah. Anyway, it's now right there. 
All right, I haven't stitched anything up yet. Yeah, I think that's good. It's just what's wrong. Uh, no, there's nothing wrong. Um, it's just this. Um, Complicated. Well, no, the radar thing is just sticking down. Well, I say it's the I don't know what it is. There's no wires involved. Uh, I mean, I, I'm sure there's wires up in here I cannot see. Right. But there's no, there's no wires. But you've got it away from that now. Yeah, and I'm ready to cinch it up. Okay. You know. He's cinching now and he said he doesn't have to ratchet it all the way in. I mean, don't have to crazy like cinch it, you know? Can you just mark yeah, it? Yeah, a centimeter play or something probably won't hurt that thing. All right, it ain't going anywhere. As long as it doesn't make any noise, we can hear while we're going down the road. Right, I don't expect that. No tappity tappity. Okay, I think it's thick. I'm happy. Oh. I'm better you than me. I think I'd be. Yeah, I, I think it's good. To, um, I'm not the pretzel I was when I was 25. <laughs> I guess I'll try to get you a picture with my phone. Phone, because I can look at the screen. Maybe if you come over here. Okay. Shine the light. Whew, yeah. that was fun. Not. Well, no, no. It Just wasn't being bent over upside down. Bent over upside down, right. Yeah, so, the angle is hard. So the, um, the, um, whatever that is that's mounted to this that's kind of sticking down, uh, the, 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 if it was only a half an inch tall or I could have flipped it over on its back, it would have been great. But because it's standing up and that thing's like an inch wide and then I put little feet on it so it's like an inch and a half tall, it was like a half an inch too tall. It was bumping into that something. Something. That something is about this wide. So I slid the thing over so it is not, it just cleared past the something. Okay. Okay. And we could not get a picture of it. But we my, tried everything from, yeah. Yeah. You know, and unfortunately, my endoscope uh, really doesn't work any well, very well anymore. Uh, so otherwise that would have been the thing to t take a picture. But I guess what I'm saying is the twist ties were easy to get around. They were easy to uh, put through the holes. It was easy I could, because I literally had already put the twist ties in it and I just slid the twist ties along, along the bumper there. You know, I slid it over from about a foot and it, there was no obstruction or anything. It just slid right on over. And uh, then I put the transponder on top and I tightened them down. It, it's not going anywhere. I'm going to trim off the little excess of the um, cable ties that, you know, the inch or two that uh, have passed through the little latching mechanism. And um, so we'll, um, we're going to call that good at this point. We'll have to take her for a test ride. But not it, today because the road's today. wet and she's clean. That's right. Okay, so um, the camera overheated. And, um, you know, I took my hat off because I got hot, too. Um, <laughs> bending over like that. But uh, we're good. You uh, have this nice pattern, knit pattern, knit on your pattern. on your head now. <laughs> Hopefully that won't show up since sure. I'm in 1080p now instead yeah, of 4K. So go. Now, Rick said, look, you don't bang on this thing. You just kind of set it in place. Those clips, they're not, you know, they're not, um, they're just to hold it in place. They're not to lock it down where it can, you know, you... you that's what the four uh, bolts are for. Right, the, the bolts, nut. that's right. The, the clips are just to help you align it. And he said that, you know, don't, you know, don't manhandle it. You know, make sure you get the clips lined up. And I would say, and that's what he said, all you got to do is just, you know, that's it. it it's now... No it? force required no on force that required. step, okay. Now look, I'm going to grab before I forget. I said, before I forget, I'm going to grab the wire. For the ambient LED. light, yep. yeah. 
hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, it's going to work still. That would be a plus. It would be, and it's definitely a little waterproof connector, and it, it only, it looks like it's got a, you know, like a little pin thing on where it only goes one way. I would hope. I said I would hope it has a pin thing on it, though it only goes one way. Yeah, that way. All right. It did, oh, well, look at the little dot. <laughs> All right, so I'm carefully rotating that pin. Yeah, and it went right back in there. All right, so I would call that a success. So I'm putting the, um, I said, I'm putting the thing in there. You're lining it up at the bottom and gently pushing it to top or something. I, you remember. All now, right. what causes that little light to come on? I'll uh, probably open the door. Okay, let me. Or maybe right when you first pop the frunk. Yeah, like that. No little light. Can you close the frunk and re? Is it safe to do that? Right, we're gonna try. All right. Okay. So, oh, you want me to open the frunk? Well. Yep. Yeah, yes. Yes, you want me to open the trunk? Okay. It's on. It's on. It's on. Okay. So it times out. It times out. Well, that's what I figured. That's why. I, that's why I suggested to close it and reopen it. Yeah. I figured it doesn't stay on for forever. So, uh, again. Although it could, basically. I mean, that ain't going to run the battery down. Yeah. Maybe I should be using his name. The person who was helping me understand what <laughs> I was doing, or that this was a not a complicated thing to do. Well, the only reason why we took it off has the turnpike thing. We're not trying to service the Tesla. Yeah, we're not. We just we're not it. doing any servicing here. We're just That's installing right. the turnpike transponder. And so, uh, uh, you know, he just said that this is another one and one. These are the alignment pins. The black pins are the alignment pins. And, um, you know, it all goes like, you know, there. You don't go, you don't go beating on this thing. Well, one thing I have seen with Don over the years is he's not normally a beat on things kind of a guy. If you need something done with a certain amount of precision, precision and care, Don's your guy. Yeah, and that's what he said. That's it. That's it. He said you'll never get these ones in the middle. Don't even bother. Them. I think I'm. I'm thinking we're good. Oh, except for we forgot to put the push pin over there. So then you get to see me take it back off. <sighs> I got ahead of myself. Well, I, so I didn't excited. I didn't remind you about the push pin either. Yeah. So we'll both you take know, the blame. This little thing. Yeah. You know, Dang it. <laughs> oh, I wish you were all the viewers are laughing their butts off right now. I know I would be. Look at that dingus. You have to put the screws in. And he hasn't done... I don't know. I'm more of the opinion like, wow, look at that guy. He's willing to take that stuff off by himself. Right. But then I'm always Don's biggest fan. That's why we're married. Right? Yeah. Set he, it on the cat tree behind you. Yeah, well, he said, you know, they're, the white, they're supposed to stay with us. Careful. What? You almost touched the paint. Oh. You know, she tells me all this stuff so I have these heart attacks, thinking I'm blowing something up. Right, well, there's a difference between telling your kid to be careful when they walk down the sidewalk or saying, the ground's uneven, lift your feet up. And I have a tendency like, oh my God, but I don't say like, step back away from the car or something more helpful. I, I just, it's hard to retrain yourself to say a helpful thing instead of a, not panicking. Uh, all right, so it just went in there, just, just right. that easy. No, so I'm gonna go and put the four screws in there while we're here. Right, you know the alignment's good. Right. <clears throat> I mean, you can actually see the holes. I mean, it's just sort of like a, right there. Super 
for yeah, I'm a little bit more than that. Okay, I think I haven't forgotten anything this time. Alright, so we're ready to put the thing back on. Didn't it go on as easy the second time? There it went. We, we like still love, way. we still yeah, love it. We haven't changed our mind about it at all. Nope, no Although things. the last time I looked, they didn't have the red ones in stock for the Y anymore. Right. So we're good. That was the other camera beeping, not this camera. It confused me for a second. As far as I know. We're done. Other than putting up, cleaning up my mess, we're done. And there's a demonstration about how to correctly close the frunk for, you know, any... Don, you, Don will not be fussed at like Sandy Monroe because he carefully closed the, uh, the hood every time. Are you sweating out here even no, though it's cold? A drop off my nose. <laughs> Your nose is running. Condensation. <laughs> Condensation on my nose. <laughs>